Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to my very first ATS Spotlight um, in a long time. And uh, today we are going to look at the Kenworth W990. And that is really a truck where I have to say Kenworth outdid themselves. Um, this really combines yeah, classic looks together with aerodynamic and it's just... It's an amazing truck and uh, it is available on Steam for you to download. Link in the description below. And the modder that made this truck, my goodness, my goodness, I tell you, he really, he captured the essence of, of this truck to a T. Now we're going to be looking at all the options and uh, I'm going to show you guys, yeah, all the different variations that you can get. And then we're going to take this baby for a little drive. Uh, listen to the sounds. Now, I do not have uh, any sound mods installed for this truck. So what you hear is what you get. Without further ado, let's get into customization. Now, you see that the base list price for this truck as it is here is $199,000 or uh, $199,453,000. No, I want to customize this, please. Customize. So, in terms of cabins, of course, we have the 76-inch midroof Aerodyne sleeper, which is, yeah, top of the line. Brings you a ton of room. And then we have the day cab, which is still a nice truck, but it's a day cab. You guys know me in day cabs. I'm not too... Too uh, thrilled about that. And then, of course, uh, when it comes to the chassis, we do have the uh, the 6x4 with a 216-inch wheelbase and a 150-gallon tank, which is for the day cab. Then we have the 6x4 with a 264-inch wheelbase and 280-gallon tank, uh, 6x4 uh, with a 264-inch wheelbase and a 327-gallon tank. And then we have a 280-inch wheelbase, which is, of course, the longest version that we can get as is, uh, with a 280-gallon tank and with a 327-gallon tank. And you can see here the difference is significant if you look at how much more tank you get for your money. Uh, it is really, that is something. But I think we're going to go with a 264-inch, a little bit shorter wheelbase. Um is of course better when you want to go uh, around corners. Then we have Packer engines, uh, MX-13 with 405 horsepower, 430 horsepower. Then we have the Cummins X-15 with 400, 450 and uh, 455 Packer, uh, 500 Cummins and uh, a uh, 510 Packer. And uh, then we have two more Cummins here, the 485 as well as the 605 um well we're gonna be throwing the 605 in here why not then in terms of uh, gearboxes of course you have your eaton 13 speed the versatile 15 the eaton ultra shift uh, is an automatic uh, 18 speed and uh, the AT eaton ultra shift 18 speed 18b um then we have an Allison 4000 six speed and here we have of course what you need if you want to haul heavy and that's the good old Eaton RT18 speed. Um, you see the different differential ratio or the different ratios and differentials of course. Uh, then we have an Allison 4500 HS and a 4700 RDS. In terms of interiors this mod really brings us a lot uh, more than other mods do. And we have the slate gray, which is a nice interior. We have uh, the vantage slate gray. Now the diamond, as you can see here, the difference is on the on the leather. Um, here there is a diamond leather, whereas here you have just panels. Uh, then we have the tan leather, which is honestly I think my favorite. Uh, it's it's a very very classic look to it. Um, here you can see in the in the sleeper, you have, uh, yeah, you have all the comforts of home, pretty much. You have, uh, you have on this side here, you have a fridge, you have your microwave, you have a flat screen TV, you have a little work area here, and uh, plenty of space, plenty of storage in this truck. 
um, you can see the details, you can see the quality of, of the materials, you can, yeah, uh, here we have, uh, again, this is the diamond, this is the, uh, with the panel, and then limited edition black interior, and this is the interior that you also see on the Kenworth, um, on the Kenworth video, where they introduced this truck, this is exactly the interior that they used, but honestly, I personally uh, really enjoy the diamond VIT in 10, uh, I just think it looks the best. Now, of course, that is personal preference. Now, in terms of of uh, colors, we have the usual here, where, uh, of course, I mean, the graphite black, the, it just looks classy. Um, we have a dark red metallic. Uh, you see here the other ones. Don't necessarily have to go through that. But in terms of uh, paint jobs, here we have Bullet, Bullet Custom, where you can make this your own. We have the Classic Stripes and the Classic Stripes Custom. Modern Stripes, as well as Modern Stripe Custom. And sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like it should be dragging a Harley Davidson trailer down the road. Like this is what I expect a Harley truck to look like. Then we have Modeled and Rapture. And that is that. Now we come to the, well, to the accessories. And they are base game. Uh, we have the oversized, oversized load. Then we have a couple of different um, bumpers. You see here, you have a ton of options to put lights on here. I do think should go with a firefly on this one yes metal deflector because if you ever drove in canada especially after um just in in spring when you still have all the little stones and whatnot uh, on the road from the winter you definitely want to have uh this option now here we have mirrors duty painted and exclusive i honestly think Painted is what I am going to choose on this one. And of course, again, we have here a lot of options for light. We have here the cabin underglow, which is pretty cool. If you like it, I am going to choose to stay away from it. Then we have uh, on the battery box either painted or polished aluminum we gonna or oh, i personally am gonna stay with uh, the polished aluminum and the same thing here you can have either polished and or painted then we have a flat top and chrome curved i personally would have liked to see uh, maybe a little bit more um, options there in that department but that's just my opinion then we have here um yeah we have here a ton of spots for lights again really really beautiful and up here you have the options to put a wing on uh, here we have horn adapters if you want you can put a ton of horns on the wall or not a ton, but more than enough as far as I'm concerned. Here we have, of course, our sun visor or just cab lights. And this is something that is becoming more and more a thing um, as fuel prices rise, as there is more and more consideration towards being as efficient as possible. People are starting to choose their trucks without sun visors because, of course, the sun visor changes the geometry and the aerodynamic of the truck, there are considerations in terms of it is more efficient to run your truck without a sun visor. And it actually is quite a bit more efficient to run your truck without a sun visor. However, let's be honest, if you look at a sun visor like this, like who can, who can say no? I can't. Um, that being said, oh yeah, I should have showed you the guys that. So those are the sun shield um, lights that you can get. You, they are coming with this truck in these colors. 
there we go and you can really you can uh, yeah you can choose whatever you like um, and then of course it looks really good too when you put those on here um, a small round ember I am going to outfit the truck with a ton of lights now I'm not gonna bore you guys with this um, Oh yeah, right, I should maybe quickly go here. We have here the option to put a window in or we leave that as a door. Uh, here we can go with cab extenders. Cab extenders are really interesting if you are driving a... Uh, uh, now if you are driving a trailer that is aerodynamic and uh, it definitely helps you with your fuel economy in real life. I don't know how much it really helps you in the game. That being said, utility lights here you can get. Uh, you can get uh, left blinker, stop positional, uh, positional, just red reverse lights, and right blinker and stop, and so on. Um, on the side of the fenders, we have here polyethylene, uh, single axle fenders, a stainless steel, and a paintless, uh, painted single axle. And this is really something that you see not a lot in Canada especially in Alberta because those look great but as soon as have, you have to throw a set of triples on there you will start cussing because try to get snow chains on this pretty much impossible now one thing that I really love about this one is the custom bumpers though they look really really nice and uh, also the custom painted bumper uh, you have of course white mud flaps the SES mud flaps as well as chrome mud flaps and that really wraps it up in terms of what we can do with this truck if you want to see me to drive the truck then click on the card that's popping up right now and uh, I am gonna take you guys on a little trip with this truck in its final configuration the way I would configure it and uh, yeah, hope to see you there. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see other mods in the comments below. Until next time, Northern Alex signing off. God bless.